do not want him being able to engage, seal, peel, control, grab anything, all right? So step one is gonna be weight forward. We can double thigh cry or spiral. I don't have a personal preference, okay? The only thing I'll, I'll talk to you about is if I'm gonna go to a claw ride, two hands in the thigh versus one hand right up here cupping his shoulder, what do you think is more efficient to go get to my claw? Coming from the crotch or coming from the shoulder? Right here, okay? Double thigh pry's not wrong, and then coming to my claw, okay? Some guys like spiral. Like I said, I was a big spiral guy in high school, but I only rode with my arms. So I got real tired on top until I learned how to ride with my whole body, which is what we're doing at this camp, especially today and tomorrow. So you can play around with both. Now, when I jam forward, again, knees up the butt, toes are driving. When I get to my claw, I'm thinking shoulder to the armpit. This is gonna feel almost too deep, but we have to get this deep. I want my fingers on his spine. I'm just dropping down to my knee right now in a match I would, I would stay on my toe, all right? But I'm just trying to, trying to go slow without beating him up, because I'm gonna beat him up a lot today. I, I already feel bad about it. He's not even wearing a Rudis shirt. All right, so I'm dropping my shoulder to the armpit, wrapping fingers to the spine. I keep this backside hand flank, then I bring my chest back on top. How tight is that? Tight. Real tight, okay? That's super tight. See how he's looking away? All right, I'm gonna go away from my claw. So I jam forward, shoulder dips, fingers wrapped to the spine, then I bring my chest back on top of my fingers. I don't claw and then just go, okay? And we're not just gonna go anyways. So we're gonna drive and we're gonna set our knee, okay? So I double thigh prior spiral, okay? Then I get to my claw. Shoulder drops, fingers wrapped to the spine, chest comes back on top. Now when I get here, I'm driving to the backside. And the reason why I like keeping this flank hand is it helps me pull my chest back up on top. Okay, so as my shoulder dips, fingers come and I wrap. See, I'm on my toes. Now, I'm gonna circle a little bit and pull right here in my lap. Ever been here before? Okay, not with this hold, but we've been here. Is this, is this butt touching the mat? No. All right, when his hips are on top of my hips, who's controlling his hips? You. Me. Okay, so I want you to get here a whole bunch, over and over and over and over again. All right, by the end of the day, your neck's gonna be raw and you're gonna sleep funny tonight. You'll be all right, I promise. Okay, he might not be, but I'm gonna beat him up a lot. So double thigh pry jam. Knee up the butt, knee up the butt. Shoulder drops, fingers wrapping. I got short arms, bless you. I got short arms, but I still get there. Flank, 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 circle, circle, pull. Right here to my lap. And when I get here, everything's tight. Eight points of control, because it's gonna be real easy to put this guy on his back here in a second. All right, we'll start talking about how we're gonna turn this guy. Don't worry about turning yet, just get to your get to your crab over and over and over. If I can get him here and he's floating on my hips, I got tons of options. Attack wrist, boots in, stretch him out, tilt him. What do you do with the other arm? Huh? What do you do with the other arm? Like Stays in the crotch. So I got a claw right here, thigh pry, because again, What's my biggest enemy on top? Space. So if I let this hand just float, this hips can come away. Get on your butt. So if I get here with my claw and I got a super tight claw, get up your arm. I got a super, super tight claw, and I get here and this hand's just floating, he can still scoot his hips away. I don't have what I had, right? Come back up. If I'm here and he starts to scoot, I can just pull myself with him, right? Then I'm still on in this position. All right, we got all kind of options. Throwing boots in, catching wrists, all right? Again, what did I say a crab ride was yesterday? Set up. Set up. So once we get them to that position, we're gonna go wherever we wanna go. Boot will come in, tacking a wrist, tilt them with our crab, all that type of stuff. We're using this position as a setup. Can you see it? Get it, go!